Hi there. Welcome back to another quick and easy watercolor painting. I'm Rod Bergeron, and uh, today we're going to be working with a little bit more green. We're going to try to, uh, you know, it's midsummer here in southern Ontario, and uh, we're going to work with a little bit more green because it's very green out here right now. So I'm going to make a couple of swoops across my page with some of this blue. And uh, I'm not going to rinse this brush out. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to put it into my green wash and pick up as much of that as I possibly can. And I'm going to tap the brush onto the page. And I'm going to tap it. We're going to make a tree line that's going to go all the way down here. It's going to be a little bit smaller down at this end than it is up here. But I'm going to pick up quite a bit of this wash get it onto the page so it's fairly wet there okay and you can even it out a little bit you know if it's a little bit too big of a puddle you can just sort of tap it hold it in there extract some of it and then move it to somewhere else okay so i want this to be a little bit darker <clears throat> pardon me a little bit darker green in some places so my suggestion would be especially with watercolor is to just pick up some blue and put your blue into a few places like that. And that blue will mix together with that green that's already on there. It's gonna look a little bit blue right now, but it will change slightly. All right, I'm also gonna put a little bit of this wash across the front here, like this. And just let this all blend together right now, okay? I'm gonna rinse this brush out. I'm going to pick up a little bit of yellow ochre, tap it into some of those areas. Same with this, a little bit of yellow ochre. All right, now I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to put it right onto the yellow ochre. So right onto the pigment, a little bit more. And I'm going to put a little bit of this again right into, right into that tree line along here, okay? I'm going to pick up my number one round watercolor brush and I've sharpened one end of it here and I'm going to scribe out of some of these very wet yellow ochre areas and in general where you scribe out of whatever color you pull out of that's probably going to be the color of your scribe line okay so you can probably bet that these scribe lines when they dry are going to be that yellow ochre kind of color okay all right so this is all going pretty good here and our skies turn out not too bad there now i'm going to take this brush and i'm going to put it into my sienna I have a little bit of sienna wash here i'm going to pick up a little bit more and i'm going to drop some of this sienna into a few places and I'm going to do that same thing along here. And I'm going to scribe out of some of these sienna lines. Same down here. Scribe out of some of your sienna lines. All right, that's turning out not too bad there. But I would say when I look at this that there's not enough dark on the page in this particular painting. So I'm not going to rinse my brush out. I'm going to pick up some of this Payne's Gray. And I'm going to touch my... Payne's Gray to a few places along there. And you'll see how that's already started to balance that painting out a little bit just by adding that little bit of Payne's Gray in a few places. Put a little bit more darkness in there maybe. And, you know, maybe I'll scribe out of a few of these places also. All right, that's turned out pretty neat right there. All right, so we have to fill in this area right here. And to do that, I'm going to use yellow ochre uh, because where I am, a lot of the uh, grasses have started to die and we're getting this very burnt grass kind of look. So I have loaded this brush with as much yellow ochre as I possibly can. And I'm going to make one long swooping line going from one side to the other. So I'm going to push the brush onto the page, 
I'm gonna drag it across just like that. And you see how where I made that connection, that paint is starting to come down and this paint is starting to go up, okay? And that's what should happen. All right, I'm gonna touch my yellow ochre again. A few more places like that. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more yellow ochre up in here too. I love how that, that uh, Sienna has started to give a really good compliment to those greens that are around it. I'm gonna grab my scribing tool. Just put a couple of scribe lines here and there. And I think one last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up a little bit more Payne's Gray. I don't think these areas are quite dark enough yet. Just tap that on there. All right, this is my little bag of salt. And I'm just gonna put a few grains of salt in the top of some of those trees and bushes along there. And a couple of grains of salt across the bottom. Maybe in there, and that's it. Okay. All right, let's let this dry one dry and see what we see what we get. All right, let's check this out and see what happens. Look at this uh Payne's gray that I dropped back in here. This was very late, but that was a really good decision. You can see how it really makes there's a great contrast between the light areas and the dark areas. There's not too much dark, there's not too much light, but it seems to be really well balanced. And my tape is coming off there. You can also see where I've dropped this yellow ochre in uh, very late into the wash and let it all mix together. But look at how this created, this is the, from the salt. Look how this salt created these trees for us and these effects, these little bushes and everything. And, uh, you know, we didn't have to do too much work for that. So, you know, that's, yeah, that one turned out pretty cool, I think. Yeah, I'd love to know what you think of it. I'd love to know where you're from too. If you're currently a subscriber, thanks a lot. And if you're not currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'd love to know uh, what kind of painting you'd like to see me do or what it is you'd like to see me create. So if you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comments section. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I should also say that all of the materials and supplies that I use are all listed in the description of the video and there's YouTube links. I shouldn't say YouTube links. There's Amazon links to all those materials. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you again next time. I should probably sign this one. This one's not too bad. So put my little RB on there. All right. Have an awesome day.